Zoho Assist supports multiple deployment methods that allow technicians to bulk deploy the Zoho Assist unattended agent silently on a large network of devices. In this video, we'll focus on the steps to bulk deploy the Zoho Assist unattended agent via the group policy object. To download the necessary components and to initiate the GPO bulk deployment method, log in to assist.zoho.com. Once logged in, click on Unattended Access, then the Deployment tab on the left pane and click on Group Policy Object. Now, click on the Zoho Assist Startup Script.zip hyperlink to download the zip file containing the necessary files for GPO deployment. Once downloaded, unzip the zip file and extract its contents in a separate folder. Move this folder to the desktop of your computer. Once done, Right click on the folder, click on properties, click on the sharing tab and then click on share. In the new window that pops up, click on the drop down tab and choose everyone. Then click on the add button beside it. Now click on the share option and then click on done to share this folder with everyone in your network. The network share path will now be generated for this folder. Now copy this path and paste it in a notepad. At the end of the path, enter slash Zoho Assist Setup dot bat. This is the bat script in the shared folder that we execute to deploy the unattended agent. Again, paste the shared path in the notepad for the second time. At the end of the path, leave a space and type exe. This is to denote that we are executing the GPO deployment via an exe file. Once done, Minimize the notepad and close the properties tab. Now, click on the windows icon on the bottom left corner of your screen. Type run and click on the run app. This opens the run application. Then type gpmc.msc in the dialog box that appears and click on OK. This will open the group policy management window. In the left pane of the group policy management window, you will find your domain details available under the Domains drop-down section. Right-click on your domain name and click on the Create a GPO in this domain and link it here option. In the new GPO dialog box that opens up, provide a name for your GPO for your future reference and click on OK. This will create a new GPO under your domain. Now, click on your GPO name under your domain and click on OK in the upcoming dialog box. In the right pane, you will find a new security filtering box. Click on the Add button under the security filtering box. In the Select User, Computer or Group dialog box that appears, click on the Object Types button. Then enable all the checkboxes under here and click on OK. Now, under the Enter Object Name to Select dialog box, type Domain and then click on check names. In the upcoming dialog box, select domain computers and click on OK. Now, click on OK in the main dialog box. Once done, right click on your GPO name on the left pane and click on edit. The group policy management editor will open up. Again, click on the computer configuration drop down option present on the left pane. Select Windows settings and scripts. Then in the right pane, click on Startup and then click on the Properties option next to it. In the Startup Properties dialog box, click on Add. The Add a Script dialog box will open up. Open the notepad that we used earlier, copy the first line and paste it under the script name type box. Similarly, copy the second line and paste it under the script parameters type box. Now click on OK. Click on Apply. And then on the OK button again. You can now click on the Group Policy Objects option in the left pane and find that the new GPO has been created and listed under your domain. Finally, force update the GPO deployment to all the devices in your Group Policy object. From here on, whenever a new device is added to your Group Policy and is restarted or turned on, then the Zoho Assist unattended agent, if not configured already, will get installed on that device.